What up, YouTube Asian Persuasion here. Here with my boy Slim. Here on the part of Luxury Gaming. And we are here today with the one, the only, Polly Aronson, who just <laughs> won the 250th YCS here in Los Angeles because we got the trophy. We got the prize card. Polly just ran it back because you guys, you know, he's a remote dual champ too. But now y'all can't talk nothing about my boy because now he got the real championship in real life. So ain't no fluke. My boy Polly out here. Uh, any thoughts on the tournament experience of the weekend, my friend? Uh, it was really cool. I thought I was going to do really bad this weekend. Like, and uh, that didn't happen. I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> it didn't it's funny because this past week, I even said to my friends, like, I did like no testing this week. And usually, I like I, I grind. I test a ton. And but I guess I've been playing the deck enough over the past couple months that you know it uh, came through. And uh, yeah, it was it was a good weekend. Um, it was long, but it was smooth, and I had a great time. Yeah. Feels good to win a 3,200 person YCS, yes. don't it, brother? I'm so happy for you. And you were playing what deck today, my friend? Or this weekend, I guess. Cash hero, pure cash. Pure cash, all right. Let's go ahead and start with shoutouts. I'm, I'm sure you have a bunch yes. of those. Um, shout out to my team, Luxury Gaming. Boom. Um, Check out the hoodie. Yo. Shout out to all the people who lent me cards this weekend. Shout out to Joe Palmieri. Um, okay, so a uh, quick story. Uh, this morning at like 8.45 a.m., I realized that the bottle of water I threw in my bag for later opened up in my bag and destroyed all of my cards. Oh my Water damage, And you guys might remember from my last deck profile from Costa Rica where I got second, that also happened there. <laughs> Poor I have Polly, a problem. bro. So, but this time you won, though. I did win this time. And this time it was also my friend's cards. So, shout out to Joe Palmieri for lending me, like, literally two decks and lending me a sprite deck and a cash deck so I could choose. And uh, I destroyed all his cards. <laughs> so I'm replacing oh all of my promise, man. Joe. And shout out to everyone else who came through this morning and helped me recreate my deck. Um, and shout out to Brad and Hani. They're like my two main testing partners. They're both insane. They're awesome. I wouldn't be able to do this well without them. And uh, yeah, um, um, everyone else, all my friends. Oh, I love everyone it. In the community. Yes, awesome, yes. Polly. Let's go ahead and jump into the profile. I know you're tired, you're hungry, and let's check out that 250th prize card, too. Look at that, the ultra <laughs> rare, bro. Oh, let's get it, Polly. Let's see it. All right, so we got our three unicorn standard, three Fenrir, two Rise Hero. Some people play one. I definitely, definitely, two definitely comes up uh, to, search another, to be able to search another one on the following turn. Um, one, one, one. Um, some people don't play this either. I think, like, similar to this, just, like, it's more about just having, like, a second copy of, like, even if they're the same name, it would, all, it would almost be fine. It's just, like, in case, you want to, in case, like, your one gets banished off of, like, your opponent's Diablos or, like, a Runic card or even your own desires, just, like, having a second copy is good. Um, this card... Was really bad or like I, I did the, so this card is basically to enable you to be able to do the full five zone lock combo because without this it's like very hard um it takes like four, it's usually i think it, uh it takes four combo pieces to do uh the five zone lock if you don't have this in the deck it takes three combo pieces if you do have this in the deck there's like a very specific order you have to do the combo in and you have to go like uh shangira rise heart banish big uh don't you do not banish big bang you banish um scarecola or, or cash tear and then you make a rise heart you activate theosis most of you guys probably know the combo. Then you go like, yeah, you summon, you summon this from deck. Yeah. If it was just triggers, it gets banished. You add back the Scarecrow of that. So you turn Riser into searching you a free center. That's the only way to do it. And then uh, this gets the Big Bang. Then you banish the Big Bang to summon the Scarecrow. And then it ends up getting you enough extenders that you can do the two Shangiris, the Diabolos, and the Riser. Seven, it takes seven extenders. Um, so I did the full five zone lock like twice this weekend, I think. I think I one of the times was just with like four hard combo pieces. I think I only actually used this to search the Big Bang like once. So I didn't, I didn't play prep either. I just wanted it in the deck to be able to enable that combo. Um, I think prep's like not great, but um, I don't think I'd play either of them again mm -hmm. next time. But I don't know. It, yeah, I probably wouldn't. All right. Um, so you felt a Rise Heart Pass was a better play most no, of the no. games? No, so no. So I'm not a big fan of Rise Heart Pass. I mm -hmm. think, so I feel like you're playing around Niv, but you're playing into any one for one board breaker card. Book of Moon, enemy controller, a single tactics, a kaiju, infinite impermanence, yeah. a, uh, like a gamma on their turn, like any one of those cards breaks your entire board because, yeah. like, a rice heart is now your entire board. Yeah. So, um, I think you have to just you have to just put on better half nib each game. Um, I only got so I pretty much always go for it. It's unlocked. full combo, which is like, like I said, I don't generally do the full fives unlock because it takes a lot of combo pieces to be able to do that. But like I'll us usually just like the standard like the soft lock, um, Diablos. Uh, Arise Heart, Changira, Lock Three Zones, and then like 
if they don't have a board breaker, that's literally, it's still game. Like, yeah. whether it's a three zone lock or a five zone lock, either way, like, they have to see non-engine to beat it, because you immediately lock the other two remaining monster zones if they don't. So, um, I th I'm a big fan of, like, I think, like, the soft lock is almost as good as the five zone lock, but, um, obviously there's times where, like, if your hand can do it, like, you, you go for the five zone lock. Yeah, of course, um, of course. Because blocking the back row prevents them from having that, most of the non-engine cards that have to exist. So, anyway, <laughs> um, but, yeah, I usually would just do, like, this, I would, I would, I would go for it, do the soft lock, and, uh, yeah, I did a Rise Heart pass, I think, once, and I think I lost that game. Oh, fair, so you yeah. stopped yeah. doing it. <laughs> um, it didn't happen, like, two weeks ago. I did it, like, once, and then it lost that game, so... Anyway, um, three Ash, um, three Field Spell, Terraforming, three Birth, three Theos. Some people only play two of this. I think, like, it's it's a combo piece. It's an extender. You just want to max out on them. Also, like, I play Desires in this deck, um, mm -hmm. as so just, like... I don't know. I think definitely having three like can come up. Um, I just like to max out on most of the cash tour cards. Um, three uh, prosperity, two desires. Um, I think this is really cool. I think like once Jesse like, I think he was the first one to like do this. I think that was like, I, this is my favorite card in the game. I love desires. Like love desires. I, I try to play it in like any deck I can. So like once I saw people were doing that, I tested it and I was like, this is insane. Sometimes you'll see them together. Um, if you do, what you can do is like you can um, desires first. If they ash it. You didn't draw, so you, you can legally prosperity. That happened once this week, oh, where I desires first, it got ashed, then you can prosperity. If you prosperity and that gets ashed, you can't um, desires because of the way it's the restrictions worded. So mm. you can only do it with the reverse. But it's a little bit awkward because generally you want to, like, turn one if you open both. Like, prosperity is the one you'd rather use turn one because it sets up banishing your fusions to put under uh, a rise heart. But um, if you want to try to, like, I don't know, bait ash and then do the other one. So it's, it's, it's debatable which one you do first, but. It wasn't too bad. I only drew them together a couple times. I also always side out one of the priorities going second, so that because like when you're seeing six cards, there's like even higher chance of seeing two of these together. So going second, I'll take one of the priorities out, so it's only four pots. And going first, I'll keep all five in. And I really like these. I like. I, I the, overall, I drew like like the deck was very consistent all weekend, and yeah. I think the pots definitely help. So barely um, break this weekend. Okay, I like it. Two tactics, two econ, three book. These are like the tech, like the board breaker cards. Um. I was concerned about playing these. I almost, when after I said in my deck list, had wished these had been like kaiju's, just so that, um, cause like, I was worried if the opponent does the five zone lock in the mirror, if everyone's going for that, like lock to lock all five back row, then like these would all just be irrelevant and like I'm just gonna lose the lock. So I almost wish these had been kaiju's. In, uh, in the tournament, I don't think I ever got hit with the five zone lock. Bro. Um, and like post game one two, like when I have nine hand traps in, like it only takes one hand trap to stop them from doing the five zone lock because it physically takes every extender in the deck to do the full lock. Like I said, like I said before. So um, yeah, these ended up being really good. Uh, Econ two, like if this had been the kaiju, like I think it would have been a lot worse because there, there were a lot of games this weekend where I literally like going first, like Econ was really good as an interrupt, like as a trap, which is why I specifically built the deck to have like all the cards be cards that were live going both first and second. And it worked out well, so I was very happy with this. Some of my attacks dead, dead going first actually, but usually it's pretty good. Um, three imperm, big bang. Uh, forty cards, yeah. Yep, yep. forty. Nice. Uh, three rise heart comes up in the mirror. If you only play two, they're gonna pick your two off easily. So you gotta play three for the mirror. Um, two shangira, two big eye, similar. Like this is a good card in the mirror. Like I like to be able to have one, so they can't just get it with the obelisk. They'll usually go for dark armed, but that's fine. You don't really need that. Two zeus, same thing. You gotta play two of us for the mirror. Uh, one Diablos, one Draco Sack. Uh, Draco Sack's cool. I don't play Donner. I prefer Draco Sack because, like, it's similar where you can just turn two bodies into, like, a pop, but a lot of, there's situations where, like, you want it, like, you can, one, this can hit back row, with which Donner can't, and two, like, this clears your own board. Like, you, I, you never use a token effect. You just make it so that you can pop a card and clear your own board with one card. Um, that's why this is good in the deck. Uh, it comes up once in a while. Uh, I play Ibli, and then these are really good, uh, for Prosperity. I don't like Entis because the vast majority of the times when they're outing the Rise Heart, um, it's before they put any other cards on the board. It's either with a Kaiju or an Eclipse. Even though Eclipse lost popularity, I didn't see much Eclipse all this weekend. But um, like Kaiju's were very popular, and like this makes it so that rather than Entis, which like pops immediately and then doesn't do anything if they didn't have any cards in the field, this sure. like on your following turn is a resource can pop. And that, that came up in a grind game this weekend. That was really good. Um, once or twice, I think. And nice. then the side. Three Gamma Driver, this is one of the best cards in the deck. I won so many games going second just by gambling. Like, the, the ceiling on the decks aren't that crazy right now to where, like, one Gamma can, like, really impact most of the decks yeah. in the format uh, pretty badly. Um, like, I won a lot of mirrors just by gambling the Unicorn, and they'd end on, like, a very, like, mid-board, and then the, then the board breaker spells would just get there. 
three shifter. I don't think I resolved this card this weekend, sadly. Uh, I drew it going as my sixth card once <laughs> against Math Mech. Um, that was cool, but the idea was, yeah, I was starting to uh, have some trouble with Math Mech in testing, so I wanted a card that covered like some of the issue matchups like Math Mech. Also covers, it's really good against, really good against Runic and, uh, and of course, like Tear. So, yeah. is that two Dark Ruler? Um, this, it's uh, almost as good as Eclipse in the mirror, but it it's uh, doubles, like, way better versus Sprite. Uh, against like the I didn't play any Sprite this weekend randomly, but in theory, like that was one of the decks that has been really popular lately, and I wanted to be prepared for that deck. This is basically for Sprite, while also doubling as like it can go against pretty much anything. Um, so I ended up not uh, not playing Eclipse all this weekend. I actually ended up just playing the Moons in the main, and then this instead in the side. Um, also insane versus um, not Runic. Like in the I, I said to somebody yesterday, I was like, yeah, like against them, like this is one of the best ways to break the Natvi's law, where they do like Natvi's Baron. And then that actually came up in finals, so oh, that was yeah, awesome. Yeah, that was insane. And then the last thing, six go first Ooh. cards. Um, the last thing is the six go first cards. Um, a lot of people cut, I believe, this, uh, of the last couple weeks. I don't. I think like the only issue with it is sometimes you need your normal for birth, so like sometimes it can conflict. But like overall, this is one of the most impactful cards in the format. It's so good. Every deck just gets like basically they won't die ODK by this card you put everything in defense and then like you just arise have the normal summon even if they have a card to deal with the arise heart and they still have to waste their normal summon like link it off without getting an effect like you just have any other non-engine piece like book of moon is just the book of moon with this is combo is insane um and three judgment is uh yeah just a really good generic going first card this deck doesn't go to time much so you don't really need to worry about don't really need to worry about the life point cost mm -hmm. and yeah um that's it um, I didn't really get to use it really much because some of my matches were 2-0 and I didn't get to actually side go first that much. But hey, that's a good thing. Easy. That's a good thing. Where, like, this card was <laughs> solo. It. So, uh, yeah. And like I said, yeah, downside is it can make you a little vulnerable to Ash because when you can't use Birth because you already used your normal, if they Ash on your Theosis, then it gets a little awkward. But yeah. at that point, they still have to link with it, normal, waste of normal summon to deal with it. So, sure. anyways, um, we got to get packed up, I think. But yes, that's uh, that deck. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I'm so proud yeah. of you, Polly. Congratulations on getting first place. Sir. Thank you. Guys. You're sir. the best. Everyone's happy for you. I'm happy for you. And congratulations. Thanks for the deck profile.